Okay, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is once again Tuberus Gaming HD and we're back in Farming Simulator 2017 or just 17 as always. And today we're gonna do something that I've done before, but this is just something different. So today you can see I'm sitting in my Ford Mustang right here in front of a big field. And this is actually the biggest field that the biggest field that we have in Gold Quest Valley. So this right here is field number 5 and it is actually also field number 9 because I actually took a plow and I actually made these two fields right here together so we have one big field actually so this is one big field right now I don't know how big it is but it is definitely big so you can see right there we got something right here and that is from the last time I did this this was from the huge wheat harvest, which actually has more than seven, 17,000 views or something. Because you guys love that, you love some huge farming, so I guess that we're gonna go ahead and do some more huge farming actually. So let's see if we can do that. I'm just gonna pick up my new tractors that I got back at the store, and then we're gonna drive them down here actually to get this field cultivated and seeded. So that is basically what we're going to do. You can see I bought the new trucks, not the new trucks, but the new tractors right here. This is the big, big cat challenger with twin wheels, of course. And then we got the cedar right here, which is the Amazon condor and the big harrow right here. So we're gonna put one of these tractors in front of the harrow that we can actually, and we can actually pull this right here, I guess. Like that, should be able to get it on, I just need to back up again, and now it's actually on. So we have, we actually have to drive this cultivator all the way down to the big fields. So uh, I guess we could, we're just gonna go in front of that truck. No, he's actually driving a little bit quicker than me. So you can see this is a pretty big setup right here. Oh, that was close. It is a pretty big setup right here. I think that the cultivator is actually... 12 meters wide or something so it can actually take a lot of a lot of dirt at one moment so I guess that that's good I guess that's really good so and you can see this tractor actually goes 43 kilometers per hour that's also good maybe I should just have taken the world the world record tractor from Valtra which can actually go like 130 kilometers per hour it can actually travel with a speed that is insane guys so I don't know why or how that actually managed to happen and I don't think that the, that that tractor is actually real uh, I don't think it is realistic that you can have a tractor driving that fast in the real life but I don't know if they actually made it in the real life and I don't really care about it because all I care about is this game and how everything is made in this game that is what I'm about and that is what I want I wanna yeah what can I say that is what I wanna do actually so uh, let's just see if we can uh, get up there <coughs> should be able to do that pretty pretty fast so we're gonna turn left right here you know the drill because you have probably seen the huge wheat harvest so we got to set everything up and the huge, this is going to be the huge corn harvest because we're gonna harvest the corn from this actually. So it's going to be the huge corn harvest. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit uh, bit special, a little bit special, but that is basically it, what we're going to do in this video. Not in this video, but uh, in some of the other videos. And I'm actually going to um, upload the huge corn harvest on the 24th of December which is actually Christmas Eve down here in Denmark that is where we are holding our Christmas Eve so I'm just gonna op uploading one video at the 24th of December because I'm gonna be with my parents and I'm gonna be with my family for the holidays you know and that's that is basically why I just can't upload one time so one video is going to be out on the 24th of December and I promise that it's going to be a long video. Uh, some, yeah, you know. So let's see if we can start this one up right here actually. Should be able to do that very soon. 
And just gonna bag it up. Like that, we should be able to put it down in the ground right here. So that is basically going on right now. Now we're cultivating the field as you can see. It's looking pretty well. So we have to get the cedar up here also. And since we're going to seed corn, I'm going to check if the cedar can actually seed that. I don't know if that is right. I really can't remember. So let's see if we can get it on. Okay, so we have a problem right here already. Um, we're gonna need another cedar actually, because we're gonna need a cedar that can actually seed corn. And that is actually this one. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, so this is the biggest one that can actually seed corn. So we're definitely going to buy that. I And I gotta say that I don't think that we're going to need the, um, the big tractor for that. So we're just gonna take a small tractor actually. And I'm gonna use the wild thread because we can go up there extremely fast. So let's see with how that is going. Uh, yeah, so let's see how fast we can actually get up there with something on the back of this tractor. It should be able to, to actually manage to do it pretty fast since this tractor can travel so fast. So let's get up there. Let's seed some corn. So you can see right now we're already at 60 kilometers per hour. And we got this big wagon on the back of it. And now it's on 80. So you can see that this is this is definitely not taking that long to get up there with a huge cedar like this because we have this uh, this fast tractor right here. I, I gotta say that this is insane guys. It is insane how fast this tractor can actually go. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy this. 125. I think that we're gonna hit 130 right there. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the speed because we don't wanna we don't wanna crash with this. So we're gonna go up here actually. And then we will be able to actually go ahead and seat the field up there. I think that I'm going to buy another setup. So I have two cultivators in the field at the time. And I have two seeders in the field at the time also. So I guess that we're going to do that very soon. I'm just going to start this one up right here. We can already now unfold it. And I can see right now I need to remove my Ford Mustang right here. Because it's taking off some space and we don't want that to happen actually. So let's just go ahead and get in the structure again. We should actually be able to just back it up right here. Let's see if we can do that. It's the most uh, like that. So we're gonna hire a worker for that. And the reason why I don't have to fill this up before I can hire a worker is basically because the worker is actually buying directly from the store. And he's just buying directly. And you don't have to fill it up actually. So um, yeah, this is looking pretty well as you can see with the big challenger in the background and the water right here in the front. I don't think that the Welter is a good looking tractor but it is fast and that is basically why I'm using it because I want I want some stuff that is basically fast so we can get uh, from A to B in a faster way and actually get more done. So let's buy another cultivator actually, I think that is a great thing to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Can I sell this tool? Okay, yeah. Uh, what? I don't want to sell it. I'm, I'm gonna go to the shop. Okay, I, I was I almost sold that. I don't know why, but I almost did. Let's see if it's still right here. Yeah, so it's still right here as you can see. And uh, I'm just gonna see if this, this is actually looking a little bit better. So yeah, this is definitely going to be the thumbnail. Um, let's get back to the, to, to the store again. And let's put on the big cultivator right there. And let's actually go ahead and drive that up to the field also, so we can get that running. <clears throat> yeah, so now we got it on. 
and we should be able to get up there. It's a little bit bumpy right here because this tractor is so big. So I'm just activating the cruise control and you can see right now this is actually going a little bit... It's not going as fast as the other one because this one cannot travel with a speed on over 100 km per hour. This is just a normal tractor actually. So um, yeah, just gonna just gonna go up there as fast as we actually can and let's see if we can do that so fast. Yeah. It's the most beautiful time of the year. It's Christmas time today. No, not today, but in some days. Uh, I, I can't wait for. The, 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 can you guys? Are you guys looking forward to Christmas? Maybe some of you guys are actually getting Farmer's Radio 2017 in the in a in as a Christmas gift. I don't know. Are you guys getting a Christmas gift, which uh, is Farming Simulator? I don't know that, but some of you ha have actually written down in the comments that you get um, that you actually get Farming Simulator 2017 as a Christmas present. So I think that that sounds great, guys. I'm really, really happy on your ways because this game right here is definitely going to take some of your time because it's an it's an amazing game. It's a very good game, I guess. So yeah, definitely. You should definitely look forward to, to when you get the game and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go left right here and let's get this one up to the field also. So we can get everything up. Oh, 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 the moly. So we can get everything up running actually. Because the field up there is actually pretty big and you have to cultivate it before you can actually um, seed it and yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, oh, I'm not drying that good right now. I just have to uh, go over here. Yeah, like that. Like that. That that's that's great. <sighs> so we got it going right here. And they are still working on the field right there. That that's good. That is definitely good. So let's just drive in right here over the grass and we should be able to get it all rolling. I guess so. So let's just do that. Like this. Yeah. Okay, so he's actually doing doing a pretty good job, the man with the cultivator right there. You can see it, it is actually going pretty fast. But the field is tremendous. It is actually pretty, pretty damn big. So that is why we need to have a cultivator in one end and we need one in the other end. So that is basically why I'm doing this. And of course we also need a seeder in every end of the field actually. So let's just put this down right here. We should be able to do that like this. And then I'm gonna buy a seeder which is of course the horse right here and you can see it actually has a working width on 9 meters so we're gonna buy the wells rebel once again so we can get up here as fast as possible so I'm just gonna take the welts right here and put on this cedar from Horsch and then we should be able to get up there very very fast so let's go ahead and do that of course we need to see the correct thing so yeah Let's get full throttle on this. We're gonna go full throttle. <coughs> yeah, come on man. Full speed, 100. We are hitting 100 very very soon as you can see. So uh, we should be able to get up there in a matter of seconds actually. I don't know how <coughs> long it's actually going. To oh, speed limit 50. I'm way over that. Um, that, that that's, uh, I'm so sorry, if there was a police in this town, he would probably arrest me for driving too fast, I don't know. But I guess that... Yeah, so now it's going pretty good uphill. <coughs> like that. And just gonna stop right here. Just for fun to take a look around and stuff like that. 
so I'm just taking a quick look here kind of like, yeah, I'm waiting to go again. Just need a little, a little break actually. Um, some minutes. So I'm now back again. And we just drive this up to the field actually. And so let's go ahead and do that. sell the, the cedar we got up there at the store and then we're gonna buy the harvesters that we're going to use for this harvest and that is going to be the new Holland CR 10.90 that is the biggest harvester in the world so it is kind of why we are going to use that so I got four right now and that is basically the number that I want to use so I need four for this yeah. So let's take the headers. The headers that we are going to use is going to be um, it's going to be this one right here. This is the Capello uh, Capello Cesar HS16, and it has a working width on 12 meters. So let's see how big the biggest um, the biggest one is. Yeah. 13 13.7 meters so it's almost as big as the biggest header in the game but we're going to buy this and this is of course going to be in a black colorway we need four of these headers right here four of these headers right there and let's see how that looks like it looks like this so you can see the headers, headers is actually folded right now and it doesn't fill that much so I guess I'm going to transport these harvesters right here up to the big field. I'm going to do that with a truck actually, with a truck. Or can you actually... I think maybe we can go ahead and use the Valtra. Because you just need to buy a dolly for the wagon. This one maybe. Or maybe just this one. Um, we'll set up white tires, yeah, okay, that, that doesn't really matter. But then we need the low wagon, lower wagon, let's see. This one right here, I guess, or maybe this one. I don't know which one we are going to take, but this is needed to be in a black colorway, obviously. And you can only have this in, uh, yeah. So uh, we got the wagons down here. Yeah, we can. I know that we can use this wagon right there, so we're gonna. We're definitely going to use that. Let's see if we can put it on this tractor. I don't know if it's going to work, but I sure hope so. So let's just see if we can put it on. Like that, we definitely put the dolly on. And you should be able to put the dolly on the new this wagon like you actually did it on my back. I don't know if that is going to Okay. 
heaven. Like that. So now it's actually on. I should be able to um I should be able to open. Yeah, it's opening right now. I don't know, I don't think that we can have more than one harvester at a time, so we're basically going to drive up there four times to get all the harvesters up there, but that's okay for me I guess, so let's see if we can go ahead and put this header on and to drive it up to the <clears throat> But I don't think that it is going to take that much time since we have the voucher to transport it with. Earlier in this video, the voucher is actually one of the fastest tractors in the game. And so yeah, it is actually the fastest tractor in the game. Let's say, let's see if we put it on. Okay, yeah, you can see that the characters maybe stop. Okay, we have a buff in the game. So the buff in this actually that the harvester cannot be on the wagon right here. And yeah, so I don't know if the wagon over here is actually a little bit wider than the other wagon but we're going to check that out also we got enough time guys we are not in a hurry at the moment so let's see if we can get this out from here this is not looking very good so yeah okay it is actually every time I need to do this. I can't go anywhere with this. Yeah, okay, it's fine up. Okay, so I got it off. I actually got it off. That's, that's great. That is amazing. And let's put on the auto wagon right here. Let's put that on. I'm just going to take it off. Take the other one out, actually. How do you do that? Like that. Okay, so it's kind of... Oh, <coughs> Sorry for that sound. Okay, so now I surely hope that this is going to work. Otherwise, we have... Oh my god. It's a little bit hard to steal the other things I don't know but it definitely is, so we can do that. It's just a bit too bad. I don't know if we can do that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. up on the wagon we should be able to do it but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it but we definitely should be able to do it so let's check it out and let's see if we can go ahead and do it if we can't do this guys we need to take all the houses out there by ourselves okay now I'm stuck in what is happening what is happening maybe I'm also taking this a little bit on the Surely hope that we can put this out on the map. But I think we can do it so let's just go ahead and check it out. And you guys can see that right now. It is actually standing on the edges of its wheels and stuff like that. So this is not looking so good. You know what? I'm I'm going to get this because if I if I've just um, took the power to go up there from the beginning we would actually be able to have all the houses up there by now. Oh, shit. We would actually be able to have all the houses up there by now. 
So I guess I'm just going to start out with this and just grind them up there all by myself because I don't know why they didn't make the whacking for hours like this. Is that maybe because they didn't think that people would actually shoot for like the hours that's pretty whacking? I know that they do it in Australia and America and stuff like that. They actually go ahead and um, they actually go ahead and actually, you know, what can I say? They actually go ahead and give you the opportunity to know. No, that was what that, that was not what I wanted to say. I say I wanted to say that in Australia and USA for example. When they're transporting the the artists out on the field, they're actually transporting it with big trucks and wagons and stuff like that. So I don't know why you can't have a wagon for for harvest of transportation in this game. That's a little bit strange when you guys think so. Well, yeah, yeah, so I, I guess so. Yeah. So let's just get around one there.